Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 168 of Photo Critiques. Now, normally every, I mean, not exaggerating, every day I get maybe two or three emails from people that tell me how much they enjoy the critiques. But yesterday I got an email from someone asking me to stop and today someone posted on, on YouTube asking me to stop that they're tired of the critiques. Um, I understand I've been doing a lot lately of the critiques and I've been letting all my other videos go to the wayside but I promised all these folks that I would do their critiques and a promise is a promise so I'm gonna be doing the critiques until I'm done with them and I should be done hopefully by the middle of the month so that's in a couple weeks I will try for everyone else that's kinda of tired of the critiques I will try to squeeze in a Lightroom training video a Photoshop training video and an elements training video this week um, I don't know what order and I don't know I probably won't do them all in the same day but I'll try to do one of each this uh, this week maybe into the weekend too it depends how busy I get I also um, Yes, over the weekend I tested out the cameras I'm going to be using to come out from behind the computer and do some hands-on training and everything's working great I have the audio all set everything's working um, but I'm not going to be doing that until it warms up because um, where I live it's been below freezing the last couple days and I'm not going to be doing uh, videos out in the cold because I'm a big wuss so as soon as it warms up I'll be out from behind the computer and doing those videos also so we have that to look forward to but until then um, for those that don't like the critiques you know stop back in a couple weeks you don't have to watch them I wouldn't force you um, but I did promise people I'm gonna do these critiques and I'm gonna do them and in this episode I'm very pleased to critique the work of Jay Cohen Jay sent me in I think only four shots yeah four shots so this won't be a very long critique and this first shot is is beautiful very nice shot um, it, one of my uh, pet peeves a lot of photographers they're not careful with the horizon they have a crooked and as you can see it's nice and straight very well done nice leading line of this um, dock going out into the distance sun is off to the side sky's nice very long exposure of 52 seconds at f16 so we have this kind of smoothing out of the water makes it look really cool one little thing, let me get rid of that for a minute, you can see we have some vignetting here. See the vignetting? And that's because um, Jay used a 24mm uh, uh, to 70 zoom lens, this is an awesome lens, at 24 millimeters. And um, so it was wide angle and then he had the ND filter on so he could get this very long exposure and um, it vignetted a little bit. But to get rid of that I mean all you really got to do is go into Lightroom if you use Lightroom J and just enable profile corrections and I'm gonna click this box and just watch this vignette up here it just magically disappears I mean well it's kind of there in a tiny bit in the corner maybe but as you could see it really uh, will get rid of the vignettes and you don't have to crop it out the, uh, the alternative is you'd have to crop this because you don't want a vignette in a print if you're selling this as a print so just enable profile corrections and you can see if I go under the profile it shows your lens here and that's what it um, just corrects the um, barrel distortion that happens when you're at a wide angle of 24 millimeters like that it kind of uh, there's like the the uh, middle of the picture bulges out so it flattens it out when it flattens it out it gets rid of these um, these vignettes so keep that in mind it's a really cool shot I like this uh, nice idea of uh, having the young lady run across right when she's in front of the sun you take you know and shoot the shot really nice this is 1 500th of a second f11 ISO 100 and the same lens that 24 to 70 lens this uh, this is a really cool shot too many times I talk about when you have um, like something blurry in the foreground it doesn't always work so you try it and hope you know it, it works out in this case excellent it's uh, 1 640th of a second f 3.2 so we get this nice blurry grass in the foreground ISO 100 this lighthouse is very interesting it looks like it has some birds nest in it as I look at it so it's probably long abandoned but it's pretty cool now, 165 millimeters which compresses the distance when you're um, you know really anything over um, 100 millimeters on a full frame camera compresses the distance so it makes the grass and the lighthouse look like they're closer to each other than they actually are 
It's a very, uh, very good uh, photograph of um, Grand Central Terminal that I, I've never really seen one like this. And it's really cool because I've seen this photographed a zillion times. I've been in this building a zillion times. It's a really cool shot. I really like it. Very well done. Um, there's no metadata on this file, so I don't know what the, um, you know, the lens or the uh, camera settings were on this. But it's obviously a, a couple second exposure, maybe a second or two. And um, I like the processing in black and white, and we have these god rays coming in here. It's really cool. Very nice shot. And that's it for Jay. Jay, thanks for sharing your images with us. There were only four, but there were four super strong images. Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to thank everyone that watches all my videos, even if you're watching the critiques. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have time, go over to my website. And if you're tired of the critiques, there's some headings at the top for Lightroom training, Elements training, Photoshop training, and you can watch some of those videos. Maybe you missed one or two. And as I mentioned, I'm going to try to do one of each this week. And um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.